Hello, so me and Sandy have just arrived in York and we've headed over to Jorvik Tricycles to come and have a look at their showroom and uh, have a little look at their tricycles. Um, they're amazing um, and I'll get James to give you a little bit of a lowdown now on the history of the company. My dad's got Parkinson's, uh, so that's a, a disease that sort of stops you from being able to balance and uh, we're trying to find him a mode of transport, a bike uh, or a trike but we couldn't find a trike, this is going back about eight years. Couldn't find him a trike, there wasn't many on the market. Uh, so we managed to get a second hand one because it was so expensive. Uh, but within the first week of buying that, that got stolen. Mm -hmm. So then we had to go through the whole process again of trying to find him another another trike. Yeah. Uh, so it was just, you know, why, why aren't these trikes more already available? We sort of spotted a, a gap in the market and it snowballed from there really. And then after we've had a look in the showroom, we're then also going to head out. Although it is raining at the moment, so we might hold off for a little bit and then go for a ride and really experience what it's like to ride a tricycle. How's it feel? Very powerful. Yeah. That's why I've set the battery in the little lever in the seat. You can pull that out. It takes about four hours uh, to charge from flat to full. On a full charge, you'll get about 30 to 40 mile radius. And you can charge. Uh, that's about it, really. Mm So we've just come back to our hotel for a little bit because the rain is coming down right now. Uh, we're going to go cycling tomorrow with Jorvik Tricycles instead because the rain is not letting up at the moment. So instead we've come to our hotel and we've got afternoon tea. Sandy's over here somewhere. <laughs> and we've got a glass of Prosecco as well so we couldn't do much better really. morning so me and Sandy have just woken up we're in York this morning we have just had breakfast and we're just packing up our stuff to check out of the park in Radisson in York and uh, we're gonna head out we are going to meet our lovely host James from Jorvik Tricycles and he's gonna give us a couple of tricycles to go and head out on it is raining but that won't stop us we're gonna have a little cycle around York have a stop at uh, Betty's Tea Room Jorvik um, Viking Museum and then also head to York Minster as well um, and then whatever else we do will depend on the weather so let's go we've just headed out to the local nature reserve and then we're going to head into York City Centre you can see York Minster just above Sandy's head. Uh, so that's where we're going. That's our target geographical point. So hopefully we get there safe and sound. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> We've just jumped off the tricycles again and we've come to York Minster to have a little wander around. We came here yesterday in the evening but it was shut at four o'clock um, so we're going to see if we can go inside now using our Visit York Pass. We've just parked um, our bikes up and we're going to go and have a look at the Jorvik Viking Museum. So that should be fun. I came last Christmas, Sandy's never been, so I'm excited for her to see it. So me and Sandy have just arrived at the Jorvik Viking Museum and we've just jumped on a little go-kart. Here we are. Um, and apparently we go back a thousand years during this little bit and then, um, yeah, you'll find out what happens next in a sec. <laughs> Sandy just summarised this place perfectly, so it's like a horror version of it's a small world at Disney. <laughs> Look at this guy. Mm -hmm. 
We've just come to Betty's tea room and we've just come inside. First time Sandy's ever been here, so it's quite exciting for her. I've just bought um, some stuff for my mum for Christmas and it's their 100th anniversary this year. So um, I bought my mum some little bits because she's from Yorkshire, so it's very apt and very traditional for us. 